Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In the first part of 2 Samuel, we see a transition take place but, uh, from the rule of Saul to the rule of David over Israel. And this process was one that took a while. Uh, chapter 3 and verse 1 of 2 Samuel says, Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, and David grew steadily stronger, but the house of Saul grew, or, yeah, grew weaker continually. So over this long period of time, there was this war and this battle that took place year after year. And as the war went on, David's house grew stronger and Saul's house grew weaker. But it was a long process. And this transition was not one that took place overnight. And as we think about this, you know, this is kind of very close to our own experience. We too have a war going on within us. That is, there are basically two people trying to fight for rule within us. That is, our old self, that is, living a life under our own rule, according to our own desires, according to what we want, and then the new rule of Christ in our lives. And this is a, is a lengthy battle that lasts really our whole lives in which there is this challenge between and this friction between our own desires and our own kingdom and that of Christ's desires and Christ's kingdom. And Christ, who came as the household of David, has come into our lives as we have given our lives to him through faith, and he's come to set up rule. And it's up to us to each and every day submit to that rule. And each and every day, Allow Christ to gain more grain, more ground in our hearts and to become more and more uh, set up as our ruler, as our king, so that we become more and more obedient to him each and every day as we open up our hearts to him. And, and this is done by us loving the Lord, being committed to the Lord, enjoying the Lord each and every day, just waking up every morning saying, Lord, I give this day to you. I surrender my life to you, I surrender my all to you, and I give my full allegiance to your cause. And as we do that each and every day, yes, we might mess up. Sometimes uh, Saul's old army might uh, gain a little bit of ground. But as we continually go back to the Lord, submitting to the Lord, he gains all the more ground. And as the years go on, the Lord takes up more ground, more rule in our lives, and with the ultimate goal that he would set up his throne in our hearts and that we, we would be fully, wholeheartedly committed to him. And so let's think about that today as we do our reading. Today, let's submit to the Lord. And tomorrow, let's submit to the Lord. Each and every day, commit our lives to the Lord so that he can gain more ground in our hearts and so that he can set up his rightful place in the throne of our hearts and become the one who is our absolute complete uh, ruler and the one that we adore, the one that we love, and the one that we follow the rest, of the, the rest of our days. So let's do that today, guys. With that, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.